Hi students, welcome to Rishi's classes. So I wish to take chemistry and physics. Today I am going to discuss chapter 1 matter in our surroundings. First physical nature of matter. What is matter? Matter is something that occupies space and has mass. Any object that occupies space and has mass is called a matter. Let us do a simple experiment. This you can do at home. Take some water. See this is salt. Put the salt in water and just stir it. First itself we have to note the water level. When we put salt in water, water level does not rise. Why? Because in water there are space in between the particles and the salt particles went inside the space. So we can write matter is made up of particles. Now we can find out how small these particles are. Take some water, add 2 or 3 crystals of potassium bermanganate, stir it, take 10 ml of that solution and put into 90 ml of water. This way 5 to 8 times you repeat. We can see for after every dissolution still we can see the particles of potassium bermanganate. That is that color. It becomes lighter still it is visible. So we can say that in one crystal millions of particles are there. We cannot see with our naked eye. That much it is small. So the second point is particles are extremely small. Now let us study characteristics of particles of matter. First, in the experiment, we observed that the salt particles get into the space of water molecules. So, we can say particles have space between them. Next one, particles are continuously moving. If an incense stick is in the corner of the classroom, we have to go close to it so that we get the smell. But if we light it, the smell spreads very fast. So we can say that they have energy and they are continuously moving. You know the three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. In the case of solid, they are not moving, they are just vibrating in its position. But in the case of liquid, they can move one over the other. But in the case of gas, they can move very fast. Suppose you have hot water and cold water in two glasses. If we put salt in both of them, which one dissolves very fast? With the increase of temperature or if we increase the temperature, it dissolves quickly. Here, kinetic energy of the particles increases. The intermixing of particles of two different substances is called a diffusion. When your mother is preparing biryani. From the hot biryani, the smell spreads very fast. So, the temperature increases the rate of diffusion. From this we can say that kinetic energy increases and the movement of particles also increases. These are the three different states of matter. Solid, liquid and gas. Here we can see the particles are so close, their attraction is strong. So we can say particles of matter have force acting between them and in the case of solid the strong force of attraction is there. In liquid particles have more space compared to solid. The attraction of particles in between gas they are weak. So here see we can say the attraction is maximum here it is not that much and in the case of gas attraction is minimum. Then what about the movement? In solid movement of particles is limited but in the case of liquid they can move one over the other. They can flow so they are called fluid. Gas they can move freely because they have very less force of attraction. This pen it is a solid. It is having definite shape. It has a definite boundary. If we try sometimes we can break it but it is not easy to break it. It is rigid. So we can say that solids have definite shape, definite volume. They are rigid and they have a definite boundary. In the case of liquids, the particles have space between them. They can flow 
they can move one of the other and they do not have any particular shape if we take it in, in a bottle it gets the shape of the bottle if we take it in a glass get the shape of the glass so it is having the shape of the container in which it is kept but in the case of gas they do not have any definite shape or volume when you think about the diffusion diffusion is faster in gases in liquid compared to gas it is less if we put one drop of ujala or ink in a glass containing water it spreads but it takes some time but in the case of solid in a plate if we put one drop of ink does it go inside no so diffusion is faster in gases compared to solids and liquid solids dissolves in liquid gas dissolves in liquid example salt we can put in a liquid we can dissolve it and like that carbon dioxide gas when mixes with the water it is called a soda water liquid also alcohol we can mix with the water in liquids solids liquids and gases dissolve then what about compressibility compressibility is very less in solid that it is negligible we cannot compress it sometimes they can ask in the exam what about sponge sponge is having pores in between and air is trapped inside that is why we can compress it solid do not compress easily liquid that also very less compression but gas can be compressed very easily you know lpg liquefied petroleum gas a large volume of gas is compressed in a small cylinder cng compressed in natural gas then oxygen cylinders you know so it is easy to compress the gas and large volume of gas can be filled in a small cylinder and it can be transported very easily this chapter will be continued in the next class i hope you understood this class if you like my class you like share and subscribe to my channel rishi's classes and for new updates press the bell icon thank you